This short tutorial video shows how to use Treasure Data's iOS SDK. It is assumed that you have already signed up for Treasure Data. The first step is to look up your API key. Go to the Team tab, then go to your username, then go to the API Keys tab. You need to type in your password to see the API key in the clear. Please make sure that you use the write-only API keys and not the master API key. Next, let's set up the iOS SDK. I will be using Xcode 4.5.2 running on Mountain Lion. The first step is to integrate the Treasure Data iOS SDK into your iOS project. The easiest way to do this is by using CocoaPods, iOS's dependency manager. So let's go into the project folder and author the CocoaPod file as below. Also, make sure to add Treasure Data's repo like this. Finally, run pod install to install the SDK library. If this is the first time using CocoaPods, it creates a new workspace for your iOS project. So let's open the workspace. Now we are ready to use the SDK. Here's a simple but important use case. Let's log an event every time the app is launched. By logging this event, you can calculate the number of active users and the engagement metrics, such as user recency. The first step is to import the SDK header in the app delegator header file. The second step is to set up the treasure data object inside the app delegator. This is where you need the write-only API key that we retrieved earlier. Note that Treasure Data can encrypt the log data for added privacy and security. Finally, let's log an event every time the app is launched. This can be done inside the application will enter foreground method, which gets called every time the app gets to a foreground. The add event method is the standard way to log an event to a table. However, add event only adds an event to the local buffer to be uploaded at a later time. In order to upload the buffered events, the upload events method must be called. For the purpose of this demo, we will use add event with a callback, which lets us call a function when an event is successfully added to the buffer. Inside a callback method, we will call upload events. Now we're done setting up. Let's run this code. As you can see, I am using the iOS simulator and the app is running. I'll bring it to the background and relaunch it. Now, let's check in Treasure Console that the event is recorded. And there it is. This concludes our tutorial. 
To learn more about Treasure Data's iOS SDK, please visit the URL on the screen.